Hi guys! What's your favorite fruit or uh, produce during the summer? Tell me in the comments below. I absolutely love uh, really many things <laughs> in the summer and it's fruits, it's berries, it's vegetables. I think if I would start telling you every single thing that I love about this season, the list would be endless. But um, what I always am really excited about is when the watermelon season starts here. So when the watermelons start coming here and when they are um, nice and ripe, so they're really sweet, really juicy, that's when I get really excited because there is something that I discovered last summer and that's uh, the combination of watermelon with feta cheese and I've started making these really delicious salads using both of these things and combining them with other ingredients and I absolutely love this combination of the salty cheese with the sweet watermelon. So today is that kind of a salad, it's a little bit different to the one that I shared I think last summer, maybe a summer before but I will link that video here for you as well. And today's recipe is a little bit different, so there are some different ingredients in this salad um, than the one that I made previously. So I hope you will also like this one. Let's get started! For this salad I'm using one small shallot onion, but you can also use uh, just regular white onion. So you just want to peel it and then we are going to slice it finely. Then I'm going to add this straight away into my salad bowl. Then I also have a half of a big cucumber and I'm just going to cube the cucumber. And then you also want to add the cucumber to your salad bowl. And then I also want to add in some green salad. So this is just some regular green salad leaves and I'm just going to roughly chop these. Then I have here three uh, big stems or stalks of peppermint. You could also use uh, regular mint. So I'm just gonna remove the greens or remove the leaves. Then I'm also adding in my mint. Then I've also washed the blueberries and I'm gonna add them in. And then I need to slice my watermelon. So I'm first gonna cut these kind of slices. Then we want to remove the skin. And then you just want to cube the watermelon. You could also remove uh, the seeds. I'm not too bothered so I'm just gonna leave them and it's easy to just remove them while eating. And then once you have all your fruits and vegetables in your bowl you can add in the feta cheese and I must say you really don't want to skip this because it adds a really amazing flavor. The saltiness of the cheese goes really well with the fruit. And then the last thing to add is a little bit of olive oil. Then you just want to mix it through well and serve the salad chilled.
So you see, this is a really, really quick and easy to make recipe. Um, there's quite a few ingredients uh, for the salad, but you can be a little bit creative there. And if you don't like each of those ingredients, then you can just leave some of those out. And there is something I really want to mention because in the recipe, well, I marked it uh, there as well for you. So you probably noticed already about the mint. So when I was making or when I was planning this recipe, I wanted to add a little bit of that mint to give this kind of a cooling um, sensation to the salad. So um, I wanted to add a little bit of that minty flavor. And uh, to be honest, I didn't know <laughs> how much mint I need to add in order to achieve this um, um, effect. In our garden we have uh, two different kinds of uh, mint. One I think is called Moroccan mint and the other one is peppermint and um, I don't know why I chose the peppermint. <laughs> I just thought okay I will use it for this salad and uh, if you've tried peppermint you probably know it has really really strong flavor. So in the video you saw me adding I think it was three uh, stalks, so the leaves from three stalks and I still like the flavor. I really love the combination uh, of the peppermint and the other things in the salad, especially the watermelon because it was giving that cooling kind of flavor that I was looking for but it was a little bit too much. So I would suggest if you use peppermint, which has this strong flavor, then use just one branch. And uh, if you're using some other type of mint, like the Moroccan mint or any other mint that has a slightly um, milder taste, then you can add more. I hope you enjoyed this simple summer salad recipe. And if you did, don't forget that thumbs up for support. And also, if you're new to my channel, then you can subscribe right now. And if you tap the bell, you won't miss any of my new videos. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye until next time.